Good morning guys from Stockton, California. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, quick continuity check. Uh, last video that we were traveling in, we were on the central coast of California at Beck's mom's house to pick up the Focus, grandma's car, but then mom kind of insisted that we take the town car because it's bigger, safer, more comfortable. You know how moms are. So we are here in Stockton. Just had a great visit with Jill, Beck's best friend. And today we're on the move to the uh, Bay Area, more specifically the East Bay. My best friend Jeremy lives over San Leandro, Oakland, something like that, over there. And we're gonna go uh, hang out with them for a day or so. Well, it's a pretty short drive, only about an hour, hour and a half maybe, over to uh, the Oakland area. But once we get there, you guys may not know this, but for about six months, we lived in Vallejo right after Beck graduated from med school and that was an experience and it was cool being close to my best friend because he was in the Berkeley area at the time and we took advantage of the area a lot. You know that Northern Lights coupon book that we use all the time in Alaska? Well, they have similar ones down here and it's called like the Entertainment Guide and the eateries are just amazing over there on the East Bay and it's like affordable and just so many different flavors and cultures. It's pretty awesome. So we'll catch up with you when we get over to uh, Berkeley right now, right? Destination Berkeley. It's a beautiful day here in Berkeley and we're going to take you someplace that my friend Jeremy first introduced us to many years ago. It's called the Cheese Board. They have a cheese shop and a pizza shop and it's pretty amazing. They make one style of pizza per day and they uh, make it vegetarian so, and there's no red sauce. <laughs> Like I said, one type of pizza, and today is tomatoes, onion, feta, and mozzarella cheeses, lemon zest, and juice, garlic, olive oil, and cilantro. Trust me, it is always amazing. So it's also very well-rounded and they have uh, gluten-free and vegan options. Can I get a uh, half a pizza and a salad? Yep, for here to go. For here? So that'd be a uh, 1702. Okay. There you go. Looks great like always. Yeah. Seriously guys, you know the pizza is good when they only make one style of it every single day. Yeah, you know, if you're just in the barrier area in general, it is totally worth the drive to come here. Like the line is, it's just before lunch hour and the line is uh, already starting to stack up. Just as good as I remembered. Mm. What are the extra tiny slices for? Mm. Bonus. It's too good to talk. There's a bakery and cheese shop next door, so I'm gonna see if we can get a loaf. All right, well, there's way too many uh, distractions and smells for Shelby to keep up a decent clip while we're walking on the street here. But uh, yeah, that was a great lunch. Now, off to somewhere uh, I think neither of us have been before. So Beck and I really do enjoy the Bay Area. I know there's quite a few people that would fall under the definition of weird, but I think it's a mindset about just be who you are. Don't try to uh, meet society's uh, pressures or you know expectations and just let your freak flag fly and that's something we really try to embrace in life. Like, 
be yourself, be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. Who really cares what other people think and just be happy. But on the flip side of that coin, I don't really think I would ever be happy living in a concrete jungle like this and having to deal with the day-to-day -day crowds and traffic issues. But it sure is fun to visit places like this. The struggle is real, trying to find a parking spot in the city. One thing I will say about city areas that I like is that if uh, it has an amazing public transportation system, you don't even need a damn car. And they do nothing but just get in your way and cause inconvenience. What if I just take those two compact spots? Oh yeah, that would work. I thought so. Well, so much for the parking garage idea. I guess we have to do valet parking. Jack London lived near here as a child and played on the banks of this place I guess before it was this place and then also later on uh, he frequented frequent boy I can't get that word out frequented the bar here called Heinold's Heinold's I don't know I'm not saying it right I'm sure but anyway you get the idea and uh, actually used to sit and write ideas for his books so that is why this place is called Jack London Square. Okay, so we found the Jack London cabin and it's got a pretty neat story. Uh, so they did authenticate it that this was a cabin that Jack London lived in on uh, roughly like 1897 and they disassembled it in two piles and one went to Dawson City. I guess there's the other replica of it there. Well, not replica, because it's the real deal. And the other half of the uh, cabin came here. So since it was cut in half, it's not to scale. It's still a very nice monument to a great American author. And you'll see the uh, sod roof. I don't think those are uh, native grasses to the Klondike. But you get the point. You know, they would actually tear up the uh, tundra and put sod on the roof and use that as insulation. Well, we just keep finding nice places to uh, hang out and relax. We showed up to the Bay Area a little early because uh, Jeremy gets off work and home around 5. And we didn't want to be uh, fighting any traffic, so we thought we'd head on over and just relax and this place is nice I think this might be like the harbor master's office and got a little umbrella here and some nice benches can just watch the world go by but what's really neat all the way over there on the other side of the water are houseboats kind of like what you see in uh, Seattle I'm not surprised that they're here as well but that would be pretty cool, having a houseboat like that. As you know, last weekend we were at the Live the Adventure Summit when Louis finished his flight around the world. But in terms of the video series, he is out also behind because that's such a... Uh, it's hard to edit and do all those things. But we're also behind on watching them. And right now we're on episode 33. Good morning guys, we're in Cairo. We flew into Egypt yesterday. Tell me that wasn't a great place to spend a couple hours watching YouTube videos. It was beautiful it was and great. perfect weather. This is part of the marina system and there's actually a laundry room down there so people come in on their boats and have facilities like us uh, RV travelers uh, would like go into an RV park. You got it. Look at you, Missy. Come on. Down is always harder than up, huh? Yep. So guys, this is our first time driving through downtown Oakland. And it's kind of beautiful. 
some of these uh, buildings really resemble something that you'd see in New York City. And then there's also somebody that stopped in front of us in a green light. All right, guys, I'm going to close this video out because I'm not sure and I can kind of predict that we're going to get distracted making dinner and visiting and then I just won't close it out. So thanks for riding with us today. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there's more travel coming up. Uh, we have some pretty creative plans for uh, Thanksgiving since we have to stay down here okay. for uh, Shelby's doctor's appointments and whatnot. But yeah, thanks for riding with us and we'll see you later.